Hello! Welcome to our topic, Oxidation Reduction Reaction, or simply called Redox Reaction. Last time, we have learned how to assign oxidation number to an element in a given compound. Okay, oxidation generally involves the combination of a substance with oxygen. For example, the rusting of iron in which the reaction is given as for every 4 moles of iron, 3 moles of oxygen in gas state will form ferric oxide. 2 moles of ferric oxide. Also, when glucose or sugar in our cell reacts with oxygen, carbon dioxide and water are formed. The reaction is glucose plus oxygen when we with air will give us the product is 2 moles of carbon dioxide and 6 moles of oxygen in liquid form. The concept of oxidation has been expanded to include other reactions that may not involve oxygen like oxidation reaction. Oxidation reaction occurs simultaneously. Okay, as one element undergo oxidation, the ad, there must be an element undergoing reduction reaction. So oxidation involves the loss of electron, which results in an increase in the oxidation number of the atom or ion. Whereas reduction involves the gain of electron, which results in the decrease in the oxidation number of the atom or ion. Okay, the substance that is oxidized is called the reducing agent, while the substance that is reduced is the oxidizing agent. So we can summarize it with an acronym that we have here. Loss of electron undergo oxidation reaction. Okay, so the loss of electron undergo oxidation reaction. And it is the one that oxidized is called the reducing agent. The one that gained electron undergo reduction reaction. Okay. So, reduction involves the gain of electron. Reduction reaction results in the decrease in the oxidation number of the atom or ion. And when you gain electron, the substance that undergo reduction is called the oxidizing agent. Furthermore, we can, ap we can apply here, how do we know if there is loss or gain? Based on the oxidation number, if there is a change from reactant to the product, we use our number line. If you lost electron, meaning from, high, from lower to higher oxidation state, there is loss of electron. You're going to the right of the number line. So, you undergo oxidation reaction. And that element that undergo oxidation reaction is the reducing agent okay in the reactant if you gain electron you undergo reduction reaction that is from positive to negative going to the left of the number line and the substance or the atom or the ions that gain the electron is called the oxidizing agent okay to apply these rules let us have an exercise where we can, we are asked to determine which substance is oxidized and which substance is reduced, then we identify the oxidizing and the reducing agent. Okay, before you can do that, you have to assign the oxidation number of each element. Okay, again, in the rule, in assigning oxidation number, the number one rule is element in a combined state the oxidation number is zero okay that is the number one rule so here we have zinc zinc being an as an element alone in a combined state will have a zero oxidation number okay in this silver nitrate silver by the crisscross method, the nitrate is negative 1. We have assigned positive 1 and oxygen negative 2. 
Okay. So, to solve for the state of nitrogen, you have negative 6 plus 1. That is negative 5. To make it equal to 0, that must be positive 5. So, positive 1 plus positive 5 is positive 6 plus negative 6 is 0. Then, on the product side, we have here the 2 here correspond to the oxidation state of zinc in the zinc nitrate that is positive 2. Okay? Meaning, it give off two balance electron to the night, to one balance electron to each nitrate, and there are two nitrate ion here. Okay, so oxygen being negative two, you have three times two, six times negative two is negative twelve. Plus two, negative twelve plus two is negative ten. You divide that by two. You have negative 5, so this must be positive 5, so that the sum of all the charges or oxidation number in this compound zinc nitrate is 0. Okay, you have positive 2 plus 5 times 2, positive 10, that is positive 12. Then we have negative 12, then the sum is 0. Uh, next, we have silver, a solid uncombined, so it is 0. Okay, now using our number line, let us determine which element undergo oxidation. Okay, and we have the rule or the, the acronym. If you lost electron, you undergo oxidation or you it undergo, it is the element that is oxidized. Okay, now therefore, from that, from 0 to positive 2, let us, from 0 to positive 2, 0 to positive 2. So, you are moving, repairing to your number line. From 0 to positive 2, you are going to the right of the number line, that is the loss of electron. So, when you lose electron, you undergo oxidation, therefore, it is the sink element that is oxidized and it is therefore the reducing agent okay and okay, next we have here silver positive one to zero okay here zinc loss to electron per atom of zinc in this case, silver from positive 1 to 0, positive 1 to 0, going to the left of your number line. That means the silver ion gain 1 electron per atom of silver. Okay. So, the one that gain electron is the one that is reduced it is the silver and in the it is the silver that is reduced element and the oxidizing agent is the silver nitrate take note of that it is the reactant in the left side that are considered as the agent it is the whole compound okay moving on for the next example we have here your hydrogen plus chlorine gas will give you hydrochloric acid. So, hydrogen in a combined state as a molecule, gas is zero. Likewise, chlorine, zero, and combined state. Whereas in the compound, hydrochloric acid, by the crisscross method, hydrogen is positive 1, chlorine negative 1. Okay? Now, from hydrogen, positive 0 to positive 1. Here, from 0 to positive 1, that is loss of 1 electron per atom of hydrogen. Since you have 2 atoms, of hydrogen per mole of hydrogen gas. So there is a total loss of two electron 
per mole of hydrogen gas. Okay. On the other hand, we have here chlorine from 0 to negative 1. From 0 to negative 1, going to the left of your number line, that means the chlorine atom gain 1 electron per atom of chlorine. Okay. And there are 2 atoms of chlorine per mole of chlorine gas. So the atom atom cancel out. That will give you gain, a total gain of 2 electron per mole of chlorine gas. Likewise here, the atom hydrogen and the atom hydrogen cancel out. That gives you loss of 2 electron per mole of hydrogen gas. Okay. So the one that undergo oxidation is the one that the oxidized is the one that lost. So it is the hydrogen that lost electron. And therefore, it is the hydrogen gas which is your reducing agent. The one that undergo a reduction is the one that gain electron. And in this case, it is the chlorine atom. Okay? And therefore, the oxidizing agent is the chlorine gas. Okay, moving on. The next example, we are given mag magnesium that react with sulfuric acid. This is solid. Okay, magnesium is solid. React with sulfuric acid, aqueous, giving you magnesium sulfate in aqueous form and hydrogen gas. Okay, and combined state, magnesium is zero. Here, you have sulfuric acid. You have your negative 2 for oxygen, positive 1 for hydrogen. So, we have positive 2 plus negative 8. This must be positive 6 to make it equal to 0. I hope you have gained that skill from the previous discussion of assigning oxidation number to an element in a compound. Next, moving on. Here, the 1-1 one, one subscript here, magnesium is family 2A here in the table. So, magnesium is positive 2 in the compound magnesium sulfate. Oxygen is negative 2. So, we have negative 2 times 4, negative 8 plus 2. So, sulfur is still positive 6 here. It's unchanged. Now, next, we have oxygen being in a combined state is 0. Okay. So, next, we identify the element that changes oxidation number. Okay. From 0 to positive 2 for magnesium. Okay. Repairing to your number line. From 0 to positive 2, going to the right of the number line. So, there is an increase in oxidation number. If you increase in oxidation number, you lost electron. So, mag the magnesium atom lost 2 electron per atom of magnesium. Okay? Now, next, we have your hydrogen. Sulfur and oxygen does not change the oxidation number. So, hydrogen from positive 1 to 0. Okay. From positive 1 to 0, going to the left of your number line, that is gain. There is gain of 1 electron from positive 1 to 0. 1 per atom of hydrogen. And there are 2 atoms of hydrogen per mole of sulfuric acid. So we have a total gain of 2 electron per mole sulfuric acid or hydrogen sulfate. Okay? Here we don't have to multiply it because 
only one is involved here and there is one atom of mag magnesium per mole. So, if we continue that, if we multiply that one atom being a monoatomic of magnesium per mole of magnesium, so there is a total loss of two electrons per mole of magnesium. Okay. Now, next, we identify the element that undergo oxidation. Okay. It says that the element that undergo oxidation is the one that lost electron. And the one that lost electron here is magnesium element. Therefore, the reducing agent is the magnesium. The reducing and oxidizing agent are found at the reactant side because later you will be solving redox reaction which involve three or more reactants. Okay. Here we have only two reactants, so it's easy to identify. Now next, the reduced element is the one that gain. It is the hydrogen that gain. So the reduced element is the hydrogen element. And the oxidizing agent is the whole thing where it is whole compound sulfuric acid. Okay. Okay, moving on. We have the next example. We have your aluminum combined to ferric oxide forming aluminum oxide and iron in the elemental state. Here we have aluminum in its elemental state zero. Then by the crisscross method, oxygen is negative two, iron is positive three. Okay, by the crisscross method. Here, these two refers to oxygen, then aluminum is positive three. And a combined state, iron is zero. Okay. So we identify the two elements that change their oxidation number, we have aluminum from 0 to positive 3. And from the number line, 0 to positive 3, you move 3 units. So there is a loss of 3 electrons. So there is a loss of 3 electrons per mole of aluminum because you have only this monoatomic is 1 atom per mole. Okay, next, we identify the one that gain electron from positive 3 to 0. There is a decrease, okay? Positive 3 to 0. You go, the arrow is going to the left of your number line. So, you have gain of 3, from 3 to 0, 3 electron per atom of iron. In the compound ferric oxide, there are 2 atoms of iron per mole of perus ferric oxide. So the total gain, 2 times 3, you have si gain. Total gain of 6 electron per mole of ferric oxide. Okay. So next, we identify our oxidizing agent and our reducing agent by identifying who is your, what, which one is oxidized. Okay. The element that is oxidized is your, the one that lost electron. And that is aluminum. And it is the oxidizing agent. The element that reduced is the one that gained electron. And that is iron is reduced. So the oxidizing agent is ferric oxide. Okay. Okay, that's all for identifying the oxidizing agent or the reducing agent and the oxidized and reduce element in a redox equation. Next, we will learn how to balance a redox equation. That's all for this topic.